In the last video, I showed you how to make a PowerPoint quiz game that could calculate all these things. In this video, I'm going to show you how to populate the questions and the answers, how to import these from an Excel sheet, and at the end, how to transfer all these data to an Excel sheet. So hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we shall get started. So first things first, well is my PowerPoint file located? It is located in a folder called Excel Tutorial in my desktop. So in the same place, I can have an Excel sheet. So I just right click here and click on New and click on Microsoft Excel Worksheet. And I'm going to name this as Data and I'm going to open this. Now here, I can type my question. Here, correct answer. Here, long answer 1, long answer 2, and long answer 3. So let me start with the questions. I currently have only 3 question slides, so I'm having 3 questions and its corresponding answers. Now I can just save this. You can save it by clicking on File, Save. Then you can close your Excel sheet. Now in your PowerPoint, click on Developer and go to view code. Now it is time to write a subroutine. Let me call that sub import questions. So far I've typed dim xlsw as object and what is xlsw? It is left linked to the excel application. Now within an excel application I have a workbook which I need to open. But now the computer will ask me well is the workbook located? And I'm going to say, the workbook is located in the same part, in the same place as my presentation. So let me just type some random subroutine here and put a debug print. And I'm going to copy this active presentation dot part. And this will appear in my immediate window. If that is not shown for you, click on view and then just click on immediate window. Now. If I do a debug print of this, it shows me. So this gives us the file part, the file location of the PowerPoint file. Now we need to find out where the Excel is located. So Excel is located in this and then data.xlsx. We can confirm this by going to a folder, right clicking on data, clicking on properties and seeing it is .xlsx and it is within this folder Excel Tutorial. So now that is established. It is going to be in active presentation dot part and start your uh, double quotes in data dot xlsx. And now we have set where it is located. Now we need to start changing the question. So we need to know what is the name of this shape. So just select this Go to Format and click on Selection Pane. The question is called Text Box 4. Just confirm if this is the name in all the three slides. Yes, it is. So, Active Presentation dot Slides. Our first question slide is slide number 3. So, Slides 3 dot Shapes. The name of the shape is Text Box 4. Put that in double quotes. And we need to change the text of the shape. So text frame dot text range equal. So we need to type xlsw dot worksheets, the first worksheet dot range. And it is in the range if I'm correct A2 because A1 belongs to the question and A2 is the correct range. And after we type this, we need to close the Excel sheet. So xlsw dot close and then set xlsw equal nothing now if i play this subroutine let's close our fingers and hope that it changes and as you can see here it became what is one plus one now we need to do the same for slide four and slide five to do that i'm going to use this loop for i equal three to five and after that next i and instead of slides 3, I'm going to type slides i. 
and the value of i will be 3, 4 and 5. Now similarly we need to change this. Now in this case all cannot be e2. It has to be e2, 3 and 4. So I remove the 2, I put the and and i. The first value of i will be a3, then a4, then a5. I don't want that. I want it to start from e2. So I put i minus 1. So in the beginning i is equal to 3 but i minus 1 will be equal to 2. So it becomes a2. Now we need to do the same with the answer boxes. We know that they are named a1 to a4. So now just copy this line of code by control C then press control V and in a1 we are going to have the B column. Now copy paste just three times. A2, we are going to have the C column. In A3, we are going to have the D column. And in A4, we are going to have the E column. And A1 will always have the correct answer. And that is why we always put the correct answer in the B column. Now let me play the subroutine. And if I check the PowerPoint, you can see that all of this is updated. Now you can run the subroutine to import questions along with the start game. All you have to do for that is copy this and in start game just type it over here and you are good to go. I already have a video on how to send data to an excel sheet like the correct answer, long answer along with the question and the attempted answer. To learn about that, check this video out. But anyways, let me give you a summary on how that happens. Just go to my website and we are going to copy paste the code from there. Go to interactive quest, click on send result to excel. It is pptvba.com. Link is in the description of the video. So just go down and here is our subroutine. So I'm going to copy this. Copy. Go to my visual basic panel and paste it here. Send result to Excel. Now I'll be deleting these things. So now it is asking us where the file has to be saved. Let us save it in active presentation dot part. We can save the Excel file with the name of the student. But here we are not collecting the name of the student. Let us collect the student's name in this slide. So go to your developer tab. Click on this text box and drag it over here. Now in slideshow mood, as you can see, I'm able to type my name. I can just delete it now. So this box will collect the name of the student for us. So just click on it, go to format, click on selection pane and let us change its name to TB name, TB name. Now I double click on this and it shows that it is present in slide 4. This is the name of the slide, not the number of the slide. So in our code, just change it to slide 4 to tbname.value and we are done. Now here, slide 4 tbname.value. Now copy paste this and make it b1 and b2. And this is going to store the correct answers. And that is ca.caption. And ca.caption refers to this. You might be wondering why we don't write slide layout 16.ca.caption because all these codes are in slide layout 16 so it is assumed by default. TB name is not in slide layout 16 so we need to type that it is in slide 4. So similarly do it for long answers for the grade and then the percentage. So let me just quickly change all of that. We have completed customizing this code. We need this code to run when we are calculating the result. And that happens when we click on this box. And this box runs the subroutine sub calculate result. And we can add one more line after percentage and grade. This subroutine send result to Excel should run after percentage and grade. Only then it will be calculated and ready to be sent. And in subroutine initialize, we can also clear the name that was typed. So slide full dot tb name dot value equal empty. And that is it. It is time to test out the game very quickly. I go to slide show, click on slide. So I go to slide two in slide show mode. 
I start the game. Two, as you can see, it is becoming green. Let me enter the answer long. And now let me press the correct answer. Sh uh, type my name. Show result. Excel sheet is generated. Okay, perfect. 2166D. Exit the game. I go to my folder. I see Bhavish dash quiz analysis. I open it and it shows me my name. I got two questions correct, one answer long, my grade and my percentage. And now I want you to showcase my premium template which can also send the data to a Google Sheet just like we did with the Excel. So if you're interested, you can check this out, link in the description and hit the like button and the subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm. All the codes are available in my website pptvba.com. Have a great day.